lagi Cukulah kau dapatkan diri lebih Burung kaya kapak pergi dulu Fat Foy Ay, ay, ay Drinking beer Ay, ay, ay Having fun Ay, ay, ay No responsibility That's the kind of shit you've been listening to as of late, George? Hell yeah. You white guy? Yeah. I love white people, though, because I just was in Portland. One more time for jo- <laughs> Portland is the king of it. Port- John, we'll give him a round of applause. I love his little squinty eyes. John, nah. You got him. Okay. My mom so, fucking would suck your dick right now, dude. That was intense. Did you, really feel the sexual, you, did you feel the sexual energy or what? Oh, yeah, I felt it. Bro, I've like never even seen girling. that before. I felt good. The way your mom would look at me and smile, it actually did remind me of my grandma. Yeah. So I got a little emotional. I feel like that's such a victory for Filipinos that a Korean actually shows a Filipino, yeah. like, gives it up. What typically hap- what happens looking. in uh, the Philippines? What are you talking about? Look at this Korean and look at this Filipino. They what don't show me. They don't respect What us. is that fucking supposed to mean? You guys don't respect Filipinos. I do. My people don't. But your mom respects Gilbert. My mom, okay, my mom respects Gilbert. So we're, we're moving in the right direction is all I'm That's saying. That's what I'm saying, There's too. I, I, yeah. I, having fun. I, 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 look at the skirts. <laughs> Wait, what? Look at the skirts. It's oh, better okay. than up the skirts. Yeah, look, look at, at the, the skirts. skirts. Yeah, because yeah. they're fashion designers. Thank you. Um, welcome to another ep- 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 You know, I was in Portland, and uh, I really, really, this this is the first time I ever felt this. Is I could live there. You say that all the time. About like where? The past five years. About where? Everywhere. Portland. And oh, about Portland. Portland specifically, too, right? Portland. And Hawaii. And Hawaii, right? Hawaii. Well, why can't I express myself several times? No, because you just said this is the first time. Oh, you've I did that. I, well, I also lie a lot. You know what I mean? Oh, can I tell you something? This has happened today. I never. I didn't tell anybody of this. Uh oh. So I tried something today, and it probably didn't work. So I get a call. Keegan Keys has a new show. Mm-hmm. I go, who? And they go, Keys. I go, yeah, I love him. I got cocky. Yeah, yeah. No, I love him, right? Mm-hmm. Huge Kim Peel fan. So I go, and the, what is it? So it's basically, a, it's like an amazing race kind of a show. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's, it's they're a celebrity with a comedian and they go out and they do physical challenges mm-hmm. and solve pro- puzzles and whatnot. Yeah. So I was in there. I think I had them on my side. So I go, you know what? I'm going to do something that you guys never seen before. And there's like three executives in a room. Was this just a general meeting? No. See, they want. They wanted to see if I'm. They want me. If you're the guy. If I'm one of the guys. Okay. That's cool. If, if so I stood up. The and they go, why are you standing? I go, I have a monologue. I just I'm improvising. <laughs> And they go, but please sit down. I go, I'm standing. Please sit down. And I'm going to tell you something right now, too. After I'm done with my monologue, and this has never happened before, I'm just going to leave the room without saying goodbye. And they go, what? <laughs> I go, yeah, I have a monologue. I improvise. Listen, please let me commit to this because now if I don't do it, it's going to be even weirder. You're going to look weak. Look I'm going to look weird, yeah. weak. So I stood up, and you can tell that they were like, you know how they adjust? <laughs> they don't know what, they think I might, might shoot up the place. Yeah. I'm not going to, too, because I'm, I had to go through the gates and I have the proper mm-hmm. ID. And I'm, yeah. you know, I've never done anything like that. But um, yeah. before, you know that. Mm-hmm. Everyone in this room knows I can this. confirm that. Yeah. I'm a Christian. I don't believe yeah. in those kind of things. I confirm that. So, um, so I do this monologue. I go, I know I'm perfect for this show. I have old history with. Uh, and then I go, James Corden. Is that his name? Mm-hmm. Is that his name? Yes. Thank God. Because <laughs> I go, or the, other the only problem is, I said, the only problem is, is that. I have a friend who's Irish. His name is Mark. I actually said this in the room. Uh huh. They go, what? I go, yeah. My friend Mark invited me to two FIFA tournaments with James Corden. And they go, yeah? And I go, yeah. I go, the first time I said I would show up, I never showed up. And apparently it fucked the tournament up. And the second time they hesitantly asked and I said, no, but they really needed me. Mm-hmm. So I think James Corden is mad at me because I didn't show up to two FIFA tournaments. But if he's okay with it and Keegan still wants me and you guys like me, I'd love to be involved. And I just left. What if they would have offered you something? They, I just left. I know. I just left. Mm-hmm. And I'm giggling to myself in the hallway. And then a couple of hours later, um, my agent called me. And he goes, why'd you do that? <laughs> 
your response? I go, what? I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. You just left? I go, yeah. He goes, all right. I go, what did they say? They go, nothing. They, they just say you left. <laughs> so I, maybe I got it. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think I got it or not? Sounds Probably promising. Not. Does it sound promising? Yeah. I feel like that was a power move. You but dude, did, how funny could that have been? Did you hear them laugh? A little bit. Then you're, you're good. You got That's it. the thing. You got when it. I said goodbye and I closed the door, of course they didn't listen. It got a big laugh. Yeah. And then one said, so one person said to the other person, is he coming back? <laughs> you and, the guy goes, and the other guy was like, no, I don't think so. What? Like that. It was exciting for them. Yeah, yeah, and I just laughed. So maybe, right? That's pretty awesome. Thanks, John. That's a great story. I didn't get it, I don't think. That's a great story. I don't think you got it, babe. What, now, John, are you being um, facetious? No that's, that's, no, that's like one of those things that you moved up to LA to like, you know, be a part of something like that or hear a story God like damn. He's so I good. swear to fucking God, <laughs> if I had the money and the means... Uh, you would, I would hire you, oh. just to be around. I think he's actually he's serious, John, because yeah. he says there's something about you that makes him happy. Oh, really? it's not even just you. You don't. I don't respect you. And you know what he? <laughs> I don't respect you. That I think I that because if you want to think that I respect you, and I you I want to be honest, I respect you enough to be honest. You want insider no, no. info? Yeah. Pull the mic. This is why I know he respects you. He said the other time when the last podcast that where you were here, he was like. I think I have a problem because when I'm speaking, I only play, I don't play to the whole room. I'm only playing to John Na. Yeah. And I said, I, I, I only no, but care I, about his opinion. Yeah. yeah. I only care about your opinion. I believe that when you're, you have your little twinkle eye. You, you, you have Koreans and Filipinos, they don't respect that. No, they have a gook twinkle eye thing you have. Shout out to John. You know that twinkle guy gook yeah, thing that you do, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Where, you know what I mean? You're like, you know, right direction, right? Yeah. I, it, I love it and it encourages me. Mm-hmm. And I love this guy. I love everything about him. And if I had enough money, and I was, if I was Joe Rogan, mm-hmm. I was cooler. Yeah, I would give you the world. Wow. But I can't give you shit. Those words are enough. It's enough. Yeah. Wow. It's enough out of you. <laughs> All right. I, you know what? I regret even saying that fucking bullshit. Because he has ego now, now dude. Ego. Right now, I fed that little tiny monster inside your heart. All right. Don't don't get carried away. I won't. I won't. I love you. Yeah. Now you know what I'm doing right now. Yeah. What people are saying on the internet that I, I, I'm a fake alpha male. What is that? You've been re- where are people <laughs> saying this? Oh, on the internet. I, I know the internet, but like There's directly no such to you. Thing is a fake alpha. Yes. They, it's some guy. A couple of times, not just one guy. A couple guys have said, "Yeah, we don't like the way he mock alpha males the room when he's really just a follower. He tries to be an alpha male." Uh huh. And it's like, bitch, this is my clan. Mm-hmm. This is my tribe, or right? Lead wolf. Absolutely. Uh, this is yeah. We might not have a good pack. There's this saying though that the loudest person in the room usually has the least to say. No, that's not. <laughs> that's not. That's not. Wait, wait, wait. I did a victory thing like I this, you, she, but she but then you. when I did this, I go didn't feel right. She tricked you. So she, did you trick me, or I think it's a good thing. The way she said it. The way you it, said it was bad. <laughs> I don't like the way you said it. Say it again. Do over type loud. Let's rewind. Rewind. Rewind it. The loudest person in the room has the least to say. Yeah. Okay. That's not good. It didn't feel good. That was against me. <laughs> Fuck you, babe. All right. You're right. I have nothing to say. I'm a fakey. Hey, you know how you've always been against adoption? Yeah. And I've always been pro adoption. Yeah. This one story might bring me over to your side and be against it now. Which one is it? So there's this couple in Michigan. I don't know if you guys heard this, Mm -mm. but they recently got arrested and charged for child abandonment because they left their 10-year-old 10 year old kid in like Michigan somewhere or I forget what state and they moved to Canada with their own biological kid, (laughs) right? And so they got charged, but then things are coming out and now they're saying that the kid from Ukraine was faking her age and she has this form of dwarfism and she's actually 22 and that they've been she's been trying to kill the parents by bleaching their coffee and trying to drag the mom into an electrical fence. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And so they were so afraid, so they just put her in an apartment alone, gave her the money to live alone, and then moved to Canada. This is real? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like a, a plot to a film. It's like the or what is that movie where this is a real it's it's there's a movie based on this. East East Asians are okay, Adopt- right in a spa. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Hear me out. Just hear me out. Can you just hear my logic out? 
I'm ready for it. You know, being my pack. Yes, sir. And I'm the leader of this shitty pack. <laughs> we'll be, we'll get destroyed, right? But may I share some of my insights, right? Absolutely. <laughs> he looks so scared now. Why are you so scared? I'm not scared. I'm over uh, here. I'm ready to listen. All right. I'm ready to listen. You know, it's so funny. I just lost my point. I don't know. You just East, don't. East, no, I had a point. East, I, East, I, I, no, I had a point. Why? What? Because I said Ukraine. That's okay. We have, no, there we go. I got, East Asia. I, got, I got back to the point. But Ukraine right. is not East Asia. It's Eastern Europe. I, that's what I'm saying. So Eastern Asians, I can trust. <laughs> okay. Eastern whites, I cannot. Gotcha. Oh, got that's it. That's what it, I'm got saying. Got my it, point. It. All right. So when you adopt from an Eastern Asian, right, right they go, Oh, my kid turned into, he was an engineer for Boeing, you know, yeah. pretty good kid, went yeah. to church, you know, made another adopted Vietnamese girl. They had a couple bunch of Ling Lings and couple whatever, of right? Right. When you adopt an Eastern white, yeah, he likes knives. <laughs> you mean your four-year-old? Yeah, he likes knives. Four? Yeah, he likes knives at four. Stabbing people. You right? Oh, speaking of stabbings, I was chatting Let's casually. not finish. No, let's not. Let's 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 finish this topic up. Okay, though. go ahead. Okay. Sorry. See No, see just, let's see this topic. Let the record play. Yeah. So what you're saying is you disagree with me. I don't disagree with you. This is the first time where I was like, "Whoa, you really have to be careful because documentation or doctors had, you know, checked her bone density and said, "Yeah, this is an 8-year-old girl." So if someone <laughs> can fucking you... con you, even con the doctors in the medical world. Wait. You know, she she's so good. How does she look she like fucked a... with her own bone density. No, no, no. She has a form of like dwarfism that makes her look a lot younger than she. Oh, I thought it was did. like she, she was did like, it with her mad, mind. She was like, yeah, mega, right, uh, like, like just muted. You mean like she... but bones? <laughs> no, 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 bones, right? <laughs> but you mean deplete? I don't. How do you? How do you even do it? You know what I mean? Yeah, you probably have to do one of these. Yeah, you have to put your finger to your head. And then you go bones. Oh, bones. <laughs> <laughs> bones. Uh, 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 uh. It doesn't work that way. I'm pretty sure. Bounds. It doesn't work. Wow, she's that good, huh? Oh, my God. Wow. But she tried to drag the mom through an electrical fence. I love it. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's like, you know, that's what you- What would we do if that we were in the situation I, hon- like I Honestly, and I, maybe I'm going to get in trouble for, with Russians- and I know that Russians really like listening to our podcast. They do. They're, I right? think you might be number one interview in, podcast. It might be the number one interview podcast, podcast in Russia. In Russia. Russia. Check right. that, George. Right. But, and I love you guys. You guys are really good at soccer. It's Ukraine, babe. Oh, Ukraine. They're good at yeah, soccer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys are good at um, gymnastics. Mining. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You. It would seem as they would be. It would seem. It would seem. It would seem that they would yeah. be, right? And you, could, you guys manufacture, you know, Implements, implements, probably eating implements. Mm-hmm. I don't know much about what they export. Here, well, yeah, tell me what the Ukraine's good at. Uh, sunflower and wheat production. That, I was going to say that was, that was my the next thing. That was my eighth thing. Sunflower and wheat. <laughs> <laughs> sunflower. Yeah, at wheat production and also sunflower. They're really known for. You would tr- think that you know, you sunflower would not be a thing that in my head that I would think when I think of Ukraine. Yeah, what would where's you think Chernobyl of? at? Russia. Russia. But is it near Ukraine? I'm pretty sure it is. They're all not that far from each other, but it's a very big landmass. So it, I'm it, pretty sure that is too. You're right because you know everything, babe. No, they're neighboring, but Russia's a massive you know country. Everything about everything. Okay. It's going to strike you. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Popo right now. Popo, popo. Do it. Do it. Bones. No, you're sick. Oh, that's oh right. I am sick right now. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Sorry to interrupt, but we have a wonderful sponsor. Him, him, him. Let's go back to my room. I'm balding and my dick don't work. Uh-huh. You guys, oh, when I was young, mm-hmm. my dick broke <gasps> and my hair broke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I was walking around a broken man. <laughs> dick broke, mine broke, brain broke. I didn't know what to do. I had no money. So I just, you know, I swallowed my pain every day. But if I, I'm telling you right now, dude, if I lived as a young man in this day and age, mm-hmm. I'd be so happy because of hymns.com. Oh. They have professional advice. Your dick broke? You, you, little boy, your dick broke? Mm-hmm. And they go, yeah. And here's a pill. That little boy, 18. 18 years old. That's what I meant yeah, to yeah, say, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Your hair, you know, you know how the little Jew boy, Jewish boys? Mm-hmm. Sometimes they have receding hairlines. And, just, and as a young man, it's like, yeah. what's going on with you, with your head? And they go, but they're Jewish, they're money, so they go to hymns. 
Mm-hmm. Tell them about it. Guys, our listeners can get started with Hibs Complete Hair Kit for just $5 today, right now, while supplies last. See website for full details and safety information. This could cause hundreds if you went to a doctor or a pharmacy somewhere else. Go to forhims.com slash belly. That's F O R H I M S dot com slash belly. Forhims.com slash belly. Voodoo, voodoo. Come back to my room. Voodoo, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. It has nothing to do with bedroom or nothing like that. <laughs> but what it is, it's a streaming service. Mm. And they have movies that will blow your fucking mind, bro. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Con Air. Yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cyrus the Virus. Yeah. Fifth Element. Johnny 23. Whoa. Fifth Element. Remember? Remember? Cy. Yanara. Nara. <laughs> Damn. Sutter Island, Drive, Crimson. I love Drive. I went to go see the show. Tide. Crimson Tide. With all the musicians that um, um, were on the soundtrack of Drive. Of oh. Drive? Mm-hmm. Free Willy. That's the um, that's the donkey that was, was free Willy. What is that? No, remember that bird. line? No fish. No, it was a it was, it was a, a donkey that was trapped. Remember? It was a guy. He goes, "Sakana, are you Isis?" That's right. It was a black guy that says it. No, babe, he was Native American. Oh, anyway, they have movies <laughs> like John Wick, Toy Stories, Spider Man, Far From, Midsummer Hunter. <laughs> Spider Man, but that Spider Man Far From was so good. Far From Home. You saw that one? Yeah, it was good. Did you like the first one? Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Just don't ever do so, that. I know what you did. You know what I watched on Voodoo last weekend? <laughs> I watched The Wedding Planner with That's right, with, they, they, with Jennifer with Jennifer um, Lopez and as my mom would say, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, McConaughey <laughs> was on it. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it's the f- streaming. Dis- tell them about it. Guys, Voodoo is a streaming service you can watch on all your favorite devices, including smart TV, Roku, Chromecast, iPhone and Apple TV, Android phone or web. Stream over 10,000 titles for free or choose from over 150,000 titles to rent or buy in up to 4K quality, from the latest Hollywood blockbusters to independent cinema. Free movies are refreshed monthly, so there's always something new to discover and watch. Not a subscription service, no monthly fees. Watch free movies and TV and pay only for what you want to rent or purchase. Head over to voodoo.com slash tigerbelly to sign up and start watching instantly. That's V-U-D-U <laughs> dot com slash tigerbelly. Matthew... How did she say Mak- it? Makonahi. Makonahi. He was in Interstellar. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the show. Right? Bisping is, um, he's doing well, I think, on that that ESPN gig. He's I think gr- he's so good. so good. I think he's doing good. He works a lot, mm-hmm. you know? Um, Paul Banks is coming back, too, and he texted me, and because they're opening for Morasai. Morasai. And um, he wants to play ping pong, so... We I want to get a table <gasps> for the new house. We don't have space. Where? We are going to... We're going to get the table... F- <laughs> Santa Ana wins are coming, so it can't be outside. This Fuck the Santa Ana. You why? Because those are my wins. That's, that's going to help me. Oh, it'll help you. Okay. Yeah, it'll yeah, help yeah. me win. I'll practice with the Santa. Okay, <laughs> Anna. All right? But that's got to happen, George. We got to tape it. What? Do you think I'm going to lose to fucking that... Fa- no, you, what was the score I've, I've last time? I've already seen you guy? beat him. What was the score last time? It was close. Two games is nothing. But, wow. but... Your health has deteriorated. No, 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 no. I got a Peloton. Oh, yeah. We got a Peloton. I got a Belagus. All right. So we're going to do that. So he's coming into town. And then um, Schneider, too. Who's going to be a big one? You know what I love about um, speaking to family members or friends from the Philippines versus just casually speaking to friends here? Is that people here don't have interesting stories. Like I just got off a like a conversation with my cousin Luisa, and this is the type of normal shit that she tells me. She's like, "Oh yeah, so and so separated from her husband because she stabbed him with a barbecue stick." <laughs> That's just casual conversation. I understand that. Over here, my friends are like, "Oh yeah, did you see like you know the full moon and crystals and shit like that?" And I'm like, "I don't give shit." Yeah, you barbecue skill. There, there, there is a weakness to liberalism that I don't like. There, there's a, a faction associated with Le- leftist being liberal. Oh my God, totally leftist. That I don't like. That's it has to do with language. Culture. It has to do with also just in terms of like, I'm not a hippie. I'm not a hippie culture kind of a guy. Mm-hmm. I'm more the opposite. I'm more st- like counterculture. What'd you say to me? Counterculture. Counterculture. Yeah, counterculture. that's true. Mm-hmm. Counterculture. <laughs> that's. Did it feel good to interrupt me and 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 to correct me in that way? No. During my podcast, or 
No, I'm asking. I'm not mad. I love you. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> he bows too. How'd you train wow. him to bow? <laughs> wow, this is a good one. I'm telling you right now, dude. The day is gonna come when we make robots. You're the you're the servant. You're the you're gonna be the model that everyone's oh. gonna want, right? <laughs> surrogate. And your your robotic parts from the waist down are gonna be huge. <laughs> I mean, imagine that robotic. We would, they would fuck the shit out of this one. The John Na three. Yeah, yeah. We did do John Na three thousand. Oh yeah. Big asshole, <laughs> right? Little dick, right? But that you're also like you laugh at all the jokes during the morning Saturday mornings with the kids, right? Then you watch, you know, you watch. You, I, I don't, what am I doing? <laughs> Because you're the robot, so you you watch the Saturday morning cartoons with the right. What's wrong, babe? No, I'm trying to listen. You're. Yeah, yeah. It might not make any sense. I couldn't really keep up, no. Yeah. But I think that it's good. Yeah. Right, Saturday morning, right? You know. I think that it's good. Thinks it's good. Question. That's all I give a fuck about, you know. Oh, so here's the game. So the game we were playing oh, yeah, before yeah. we even started is this. Mm-hmm. So there's a new movie out coming called Ad Astra. Mm-hmm. Oh, with you Ad know Ad the Ad. answer. You cannot answer it. Oh. It's between these two. We can't figure it out. And they can't figure it out. So the game is this. So we have a friend Who's who a is a guest on our show, The Tiger Belly Show, who's co-starring in that movie. And I asked Wait, these two. Hang on one second. But you've seen it? No. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say maybe they've seen it and he got cut out or he's something. A, he's not cut out. No. Oh, he's we were, not cut out. We were guessing earlier. Okay, good. I'm glad he wasn't cut out. Oof. So Tiger just think about it. Just think about it. So none of the names we said already. Not Polly Shore. Not Harlan. Okay, Williams. I will give you a clue. Brian we had a very intense con. Don't no, baby, don't give him. That's almost too much already. No, 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 it's not. We had a very good debate about real reality versus non-reality. That is actually that's not a good clue at all. We had a very yeah, that's more a, confusing. That's a great I, that clue. That wasn't even a clue. That was just words. That's a good clue, man. Keep doing those ones. Yeah, reality, non-reality. <laughs> that's not me, like all. second dimension shit, man. Right? I confused myself. Mind when melding, I said that. dude. Mind melding, dude. It's all about mind melding, Sam bro. Sam Tripoli. Sam Tripoli, dude. Ed Astra. Yeah, are you on your fucking mind? I don't mind? know! <laughs> Sam Tripley, fourth lead, Ed Astra. Are you on your fucking mind? Hold on. It, it's not. He somebody... said it was a comedian. So I'm trying to think. Yes. So not Brian Callen. Yeah. Not Theo. Not Chris Oh, I got it after. Oh, say it. Oh, you already know who it is? You guys? You already know who it is? I'm pretty confident. All right, so stop. Okay, you. All right, stop. You don't say anything, okay? You don't say anything. Do you have a guess? You have a guess, though? Just get a guess in your mind. Okay. All right. It's not I'm here in. yet. Do you have a guess yet? No. Well, you're gonna have to get one because right, the game. Can I just say one word and maybe you'll get it? Be- I'm just gonna make it easier. No, for don't him. make it easier Rose for this guy. Right, All right, go ahead. Okay. Don't make it too obvious. Here. Because I think. No, I, I know. I got. It. I got it. Okay, How about yeah. this? He also was in a movie that was a sequel to a classic. Got it. You know what it is? Mm-hmm. Okay. He likes dogs. Nope. <laughs> he likes dogs. He does, he does like, like dogs. dogs. Yeah, yeah. Does he like? He loves dogs. Dogs. So, so throw out, throw out the so so. Not throw, that no, 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 throw it out. No. So throw it out. Go ahead and go. I don't know. Do go you see know? it. See it. Wait, hold on. Just say it. I just panicked and forgot to no, say it, it out. Say it. Uh, I don't know it. Wait, you he's don't know the, about, wait, wait, wait. He's thinking about the guy with the dogs. You don't know his name him. either. Wait, be quiet. Be quiet, babe. Wait, hold on. So who's the guy with the dog? The Jewish guy you're talking about? I don't even know. With the dogs. Who are you talking about with the dogs? No, I'm not talking about Thomas Lennon. Oh, are you talking weren't. about? Who are you talking about? D- d- Michael Rosenbaum? No, I know R- Rosenbaum. I'm thinking about uh, who had like the picture of the dogs. Am I making something up? What the oh, fuck are, are you talking about? Mind. All right, you don't have an answer. But now. it's not Thomas Lennon. No, you, Thomas no, Lennon is your answer. I thought that's, that's a very what good you're one. talking about. Thomas no. Lennon? Came here to prove oh, that but, thing about the dogs. All right, so who do you have now? That would have been my guess. Thomas Lennon? Yeah. Okay. What is your guess? It is. Oh, Jamie Kennedy. Wow, he's in that. Well, I googled it because I didn't know what it was. It got good reviews, and then I looked at the cast, and he was fourth. And then I texted him, and he goes, "Yeah, if they didn't cut me out, but he was high up on the thing. I wouldn't have done it if he was like thirtieth on the movie, but he's like fourth or fifth lead in it." Jamie Kennedy is a good actor. He's a great actor, by the way. And oh, can I just say this too? Dice too. 
There are certain He's in that? No. Oh god. But there's certain comics that have the double thing. And some comics that are just born without it and they no matter how many classes they take, no matter how hard they try, <laughs> they just don't have it. Right? Jamie has it. Right? Dice are they the best stand ups? They're very good at for what they do, right? They wouldn't be um and I'm, I would put myself in their category as well, right? Um, but they're not, they're not Bill Burr. Bill Burr is a, um, you know, he is a symbol of comedy right now. He's in a big TV show coming up. Yeah, he is huge, Bill. Billy is, um, and there's guys like him that are rising to that level. And, but Jamie and, 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 and dies and you know who else can act? Roseanne Barr. Mm-hmm. Mark can, Maron. Mark Merrick oh, can he's act. So good. He's so good in Glow. Oh, yeah. He's also good in Easy. And he's in Joker. Yeah. Yeah. And when you ask another, when people ask, whatever happened to so and so? He's such a funny stand up. What happened? It's that they just never learned to do it. The other stuff that you need to learn, you know, and it's hard. You get it because mm-hmm. you're not from just one, mm-hmm. you know, discipline, mm-hmm. right? You need to have several disciplines. One of the disciplines you need is a live element. Because mm-hmm. I feel like if you can act live and also do comedy live in front of an audience and they're responding, you know, that's the key, I think. Mm-hmm. You have to, and it's scary. You have to prove your worth. But, um, you know, you have it, Gilbert. Don't worry about it. Thanks. What? Thanks. No, from hearing it from the... What about me, though? The Yeah, but what about me? Dude, you got stuff Thanks, happening. Man. Hey, feels good. You got stuff happening. I got stuff. He's got stuff happening. We can't talk about. Well, you, John, good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Kalila, how about you, babe? She's gonna be a host. I really feel like she's gonna host yeah. a VH1 show or something. I know. I get it. Not, not like I was saying. Three years. No, no. Look Licks. at me. Is that a and dream no, of mine? Yeah, 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 yeah. In three years, you will. I feel like you will be doing like host work. I'm not even kidding. I, I'm, I'm letting you know now, Gilbert, that I would rather. And I, I'm not even. I would be terrible at it, but I would rather Look. act at a pink film Robert and do softcore. Yeah. Oh wow, you're doing Robert then, De Niro right now, babe. Then do <laughs> then host shit. anything. Is that mean streets? Hosting's what not is my this? thing. I don't. I don't have the the quickness. <laughs> the the a, a quick you know, head like that. It's all scripted. You know what, dude? I don't even see that. You know what I see? You know how you have Oxygen Network? Yeah. LX what Network. LX. Licks Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> what would be your? Pro- what would be her programming? <laughs> so many good programming. Right, gang life would be one. Oh, that'd be good. Right, Giggle. Pasadena gang life. Yeah, you gotta hang out with the mashed potato gang. The squiggly lane. <laughs> squiggly lane. The squiggly, yeah, Forgot, squiggly how lane. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get killed by them. So, yeah, they're legit. They are legit. Watch your back, especially you. you. Yeah. Why? Because the fucking Pasadena Denver lanes, the PDL Bloods are a real no, thing, no, 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 no. and they, you're mocking them. All, they all love me, friend. All those kind of elements, they love me. We were talking about gay vampires the other day. Was it earlier? Yeah. It was literally five minutes. Yeah. Why well, was it? Why were we talking about gay vampires? You started. What yeah. was I talking about? I don't <laughs> no, just say it. I wanted to go be clear about something what I was about. To say. You weren't in the room, a, right, babe? A friend of yours, yeah. who has cum crust. No, no, that's not what I was. Then saying. it went into. Oh, no. who has cum crust? No, 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 no one has cum crust, babe. No one has long enough cum. You know, you would, I, ha- you would have to leave the cum on your face long enough for it to no, crustify. But, an hour? No, no, that's no. An hour. But you know how there are people. That's an animal. <laughs> wipe wipe always, your face off when the cum's on there. Do you guys um, Don't get. Don't crustify it. Bother, does it bother <laughs> you when people have like white crust on the side of the mouth when they speak? I have it. You no, it? no. Lately, no. I've been having it. I don't know you why. Know. Okay, you know. You even see. said it. A couple, like last week, you said it. You have that white cum crust thing. No, because you had a powdered <laughs> donut. That. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, just, oh, okay, powdered sorry. sugar. It was, the, it, but you don't naturally. I don't have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people who like chew a lot of gum get that, uh, like little white thing. Yeah, I was talking about Peter Kim. So Peter Kim and I pitched the show, mm-hmm. the Peter and uh, Peter route, essentially, but a lot of it has. I think the Papa's involved. Uh, we're involved, right? And so he might have sold it, and so I, all I was saying is, is that, and that's how we got into. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That he, I was joking around saying that Peter's a gay vampire and, you know, sometimes I let him suck the cum out of my dick. And I go bite into it with your, you know what I mean? Yeah. Vampire yeah. Is that gay. the show you pitched? And he goes, no, I'd rather just suck it out. So he doesn't squite the, you know what I mean? He wants to, 
he wants to, me to squirt the cum in his mouth. Because right once that's so in. funny. Have you yeah. seen his Instagram story today? It's actually all about cum. Can I play it for you? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. It makes sense that you would think this about Peter. Because here, let me. I'm gonna make. I'm proving my point. Yeah. Shout out Hang to on. Peter. I love Peter. I love Peter. Here he goes. This is his Instagram. He's addicted to it. They lay down the tar for me, and then they start to squirt, 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 after squirt, after squirt, squirt, after squirt, after squirt, 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 after squirt, after squirt. I was drenched with squirt. Bobby's not lying, guys. Does that sound like a gay vampire? Who says squirt that many times? Gay vampires. Peter Kim. Peter and if Kim. you look at his story, it's all about cum today. All right. Okay. I swear to God. Yeah. He was like, it's not what you think. And he, it was like something on his body. And then the next, the second part of the story, it was like, just kidding, it's cum. <laughs> <laughs> he has cum crust. You know what God yeah. fucked up? I just thought of this. Is a third sack. Four. So you have two sacks, right? For the cum. There's a th- third sack in between the two sacks that's a little smaller. Science alert. Science, Science alert. You know what it is? Flavoring. Ah, it's like those Coke machines. Yes. You choose the different flavor. flavoring. Flavoring. Right. You can go diet even with no sugar. Yeah. Right. For yeah. who? <laughs> for you sound so scared. I, I, who's the flavoring for? For my cum. So you can enjoy your own cum. No, 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 no. no. I mean, I would check out the flavors. Yeah. If I went to the store, they we have new flavors. I would be like, stick it in. Let's see. They have yeah. samples, probably. Yeah. You take a little sample, put in the third sack, the little one, right? <sighs> and you go, root beer. Yeah. yeah. They're like, it's pretty close. And you're like, yeah, it is. A little creamy. You know what I mean? But yeah, I think oh. God should have done that. Third. That'd be cool. The third little sack with flavoring. Yeah. All right. Anyway, when I die, I, <laughs> I have notes for God. Do you have that? Do you have notes for so, God? Yeah. I have like human notes. So like, third sack, what else would you... I, you body. know about this. You know about my other one, the, the anus at the bottom of the foot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the easy. That's that. the easiest. That come on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You Wait. could shit anywhere. <laughs> but your shoe though. Your shoe has an opening. Your shoe has a little mechanism. Those click click. The anus is at the heel, right? Yeah. You stick your foot. You you could stick your foot in a hole, right? And you're shitting like this, right? It's you're right in a hole, right? And you go. Hey, Danny. Yeah. How's Margot? Oh, she's getting good grades. Yeah. Excuse me for a second. See ya. God, take notes. Yeah, but then. Flavor packs, butthole on the bottom of the foot. What else? You would would have to, like, fuck. You would have to fuck feet. If you liked anal. Yeah, if you were like anal. Okay. Yeah. So and you, you see, could still do it. So West Hollywood, you just right, like, right, right. <laughs> walk it down. <laughs> or was foot fiving? Yeah, yeah. Or, or maybe like, <laughs> or maybe the gay, the gay man's right leg, where the the, the hole is, the right foot is much more muscular than most the straight oh, like, men's, like the arm, because yeah. they use it like in a different kind like of way. Tennis player, <laughs> you know, yeah, the just, tennis elbow, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, tennis elbow is an injury. It's like tennis elbow, right? We'll right, just right. say it's like tennis elbow. Right, right, right. <laughs> and then, like, you know, guys like Elon Musk, they put, like, you know what I mean? Like, a, an extra, like, electrical, like, future leg yeah. thing where it's like a power leg. Yeah. So, you're, you can, like you, that, like, all day, it. every day. Anyway. Buy stuff for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> can we learn so much? That we should be inventors. Yeah. These are all cool so ideas. <laughs> yeah, we should be inventors. Oh, will you hate me, babe, right now? I don't. Am I off you. today? I feel like I'm on a little bit. <laughs> I, you give me uh, looks like I'm off, but I don't feel like I'm off. I feel like I'm okay. I just don't. Oh, she, I'm off. I don't you're think she's on too. board with anus foot. I just don't think that's her jam. You know, we've said it before. I think that's what it is. I don't think like I don't think she likes when we repeat things. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a thing of mine. Yeah, I get but that. but also I find that it's necessary because when I go to other podcasts, I repeat myself. So who am I to say anything? Oh, it, I, I I did Eric uh, Griffin's podcast last week. How, or, was, how was the chemistry? Um, I went all the way to the other side of town for it. Yeah, he lives in Century City. It's insane. Yeah. He like underneath like all those underpasses. It's like it's insane. It's really far. Oh. <laughs> and I go, why are you living here? And you go in it, and it's like a time machine, right, babe? But Eric's. We're a not making fun man. of him. We're not and making fun of him. You know what? Him. He loves you and your brother so deeply. Yeah. And you guys should be nicer to him. But there's something off. About what? When you see a guy who's a stand-up, television, you know, films, this and that. And you go into his kitchen and they have like 
that poster with the dogs gambling. <laughs> oh, from Rover Dangerfield? Right, but like those are like the those classic. are sign classic I've signs. Seen cartoon. Yeah, those are classic signs or there's something wrong going on. Like if I flipped over that thing, there's blood stains. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or like a message that says greed in blood. Is this like and you're like it's, seven? it's start- yeah, it's starting. <laughs> Like the, the seven, seven. Star- it's start right. It's starting. Like he's that that kind of guy. I can't corroborate this. Yes, you can. No, I can't. You will because we're gonna, we're gonna there. break into his house and house. we're gonna we're gonna get fingertip p- 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 prints, <laughs> fingertips and prints, all of it. He's killed somebody. He's done something. Mm. That house is unnatural. Any, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I, was, I only mentioned it because I wanted to defend him, and I think his home is a very normal, cozy home. Oh, yeah. He's like a real person. He has office supplies. Like, you know, it's so weird when you think of someone as a very, like, 2D. You don't think of them as real because yeah. you just see you have a very, mm. oh, he does their podcast. He's very funny. It's on TV. But then you go into their home and you look at, you know, the pens that they mm-hmm. buy. Mm. They're actually or, responsible. Yeah, like the post-its and the little reminders. Did you go? And their laundry folded. And you're like, wow. Yeah. Did you go into his kitchen? I did. Did you go into his this little storage place where you put the like the Parmesan cheese and all that kind of stuff? I didn't go the that pantry. Oh, the, the pantry. Thank you. That's no, the I word. Thank you. Deep. All right. Well, go in there. Okay. Right. Did you see the little little bottle there that doesn't seem like it should be there? Press on it. Oh, lever. Oh, it opens. Holy shit! What's going? There's a stairs. I wonder what's down here. You go down there, and there's a white guy. <laughs> right. Just hear me out, mm-hmm. right? And a woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. This is a married. But couple? mainly, no, they don't know each other. They're not married. Yeah, yeah. The woman's dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, the woman's. Well, dead. I forgot to say that. So the guy's he's alive. been dead for a long time. Yeah, but the guy's still there, right? And he's just like, you don't know if. Anyway. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Uh, now I'm getting into territory. We're going to have to cut some of this stuff I'm out. I'm going to interject. Yeah, yeah, interject I'm going to interject yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, mention something that he told me, and I want I want to know what you think about it. Go ahead. So Eric thinks that um, I should, that there's a part of me that has completely shied away from, like, my sexuality that I no longer, when he says, when I, when I first met you, you were just so, you know, um, you had, you were oozing sexuality. Mm. And then now you, you know, you dress like a slob, basically. (laughs) And so he was saying, you know, maybe you should walk around the house with like, basically he's telling me to wear itchy lingerie around the house. He thinks that that's, that I should put out a thirst trap You deserve better. Uh, What? You you deserve, you deserve better. That's not. That's, I think what that's the way. <laughs> let's just get to. Let's get to the. That's what you took. Yeah. Let, let's get. To, let's get to the root. Let's get to the root. Oh my right. god! I'm so glad. I, I, such I, a great I, listener. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm listening Please. to everything you're saying. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. He's saying that I should do more. <laughs> exactly. I should do more. And I should do more. And I apologize. <laughs> oh my what? God. I got to be better. I'm so confused. You know what I'm saying. All right. No, then, what you're basically saying is, is that what Eric is saying is wait, that, yeah, that yeah, I somehow what I just said. changed you, right, what? over the years, and now I have you in some sort of mind controlled or mind melt kind of a situation. Just let me hear. Just let me think. Let me think out loud. Yeah. You mind? Good. I think that's where the magic is. Let me think out loud. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then you can but check this. Yeah. Okay. I think that he's saying some bullshit that like I somehow, you know. Unfeminized you, is that even a word? Uh, it is now. Yeah, through time, and that you used to wear. Yeah, you used to be tanner. <laughs> it used to be a little bit I more. Like tan club. Yeah, don't either. You used to be a little bit more like ditzy. You know what I mean? But you're a br- you're the smartest person I know. <laughs> you're the brightest person I know. You're the more most complex person I know. You're everything to me, babe. So you can listen to that fat black fuck flat. Yeah, that flack fuck, <laughs> right? All you want. I don't give a fuck now. And people go, you're fat shaming him, this and that. Have you seen his body? <laughs> right? If you have eyes, you have eyes, you've seen it then. There's something wrong. Unhealthy. Okay. Stop drinking grease. Oh my God, I'm going too far. He's a great I guy. I think that you're, that's Tell you love him. not what he said. I love him. And he was saying basically I know, I'm totally like- I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Fact checked it. Fact checked it. I love him. Yeah. You're right. I'll get better, babe. 
I'll be a better person. I love <laughs> you so much. You, you deserve something better. She does deserve better a better boyfriend. I'm the worst. No, you know, we deserve to be better for each other. I need to be better too. There we go. That's all I wanted to hear. Would you raise your arm? That's want? all I wanted to hear. Is that a victory? Yeah, we're doing it together. We're doing it together. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but we have another great sponsor. Manscaped. Manscaped, man, is a shaving device. And let me say something to you, okay? I am a professional. This saved my life once. I have a story to tell wow. with about Manscaped. Mm-hmm. I was in Louisiana during the hurricane. All right? My father, he passed, right, a couple weeks ago? Mm-hmm. But back in the day, he used to have a f- sh- shrimp business. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I- I'm just <coughs> trying to picture it, sorry. All right, right. 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 a liar shrimp, on me. Shrimp business. Yeah, it's a shrimp business, right? So one day, you know, I couldn't get a hold of them, whatever, this was years ago, right? During the hurricane. That's just a, it's a long ad, but this is re- it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Uh, I guarantee you, because you, I, I haven't told you this yet, right? So I went to the house during the hurricane, and you couldn't find him in the house. I went downstairs because he had this, right? And in the, he was knocked unconscious down there. Mm. There was wet, water flow, flowing in, right? And then all of a sudden, what? Alligators. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, alligators. Okay. Glues right? right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm swimming, right? Because my dad's knocked out, right? And I am and I use this manscaped to shave my pubes and my leg legs, hairs, <laughs> and my armpit hairs. And I swam so much faster <laughs> because it didn't slow me down. And the alligators, right? The alligators didn't eat my father and I you're hyd- because of this. You are hydrodynamic. Exactly. Oh. I was hydrodynamic. Thank you so much for the clinical terms, babe. Oh. But finish the thing. Guys... Do you want to be like Bob? If you're in a situation like Bobby in Louisiana and you need to swim away from alligators, get to 20- what we call crawl. It was really good. It's the- <laughs> get 20% off. Get 20% off free shipping and a free travel bag with the code belly at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping and a free travel bag at manscaped.com. And use the code belly. Candid, candid. For your mouth. Wow. Very good. I felt candy, the candy, candy for, for your mouth. mouth. What's wrong? And my jaw hurts just listening. When I sing it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I had really fucked up teeth. They're all crooked. Yeah. And I go, what's the fastest way? Right? And they go, and also I didn't want people to notice really that I had braces on. Right? Yeah. So I ordered candid. Mm-hmm. Correct? And they gave me teeth alignment. Right? And now look. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Now look. Thank you, Candace. It saved my life. Now yeah. I'm on TV. And with actually, fun fact, with each aligner purchase, Candid donates $25 to Smile Train, who brings safe 100% free cleft lips. Smile Train? Oh, yeah. Hey, that's, a, pal- that's a big thing. treatment. To children around the globe. Yeah. So when you actually use this company, you're actually helping people in the world. Hey, that's a good that's a good mission. Yes. Guys, I'm going to have a photo-ready smile by the holidays, and you can too. Go to CandidCO.com slash Tiger Valley and use the code Tiger Valley <laughs> to get $75 off. That's CandidCO.com <laughs> slash Tiger Belly. Code Tiger Belly for $75 keep going, keep going. off. CandidCO.com slash Tiger Belly. Code Tiger Belly. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the show. We're going to get real good, huh, Dad? Uh, We're going to get really good. And, um, you know, I want to thank you too, babe, for the help that you gave my mom. My mom loves you. You really, you, you can see, you saw how fucked up I am with my mom. Yeah. It's a weird family. Are we allowed to be yeah, honest? Yeah, we can talk for about it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, what I noticed on her trip to LA was you guys have a very vocal, uh, love where you say big I love yous but you're very little on the gesture okay. uh, very avoidant mm-hmm. that mean? Um, they don't pick her up from the airport they don't drop her off at the airport they don't really spend a lot of time with her it's mm-hmm. very uh, concentrated like bursts of time together like mm-hmm. they'll spend 10 minutes with her and then all of a sudden and then they'll be like okay Kalila like you you take her around town mm-hmm. so and then you just don't really spend time with each other Mm. you can only handle each other in short bursts and mm. none of you guys listen to each other. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a, it was a very, I, I loved her company. I love her. But it was a very head scratching weekend for me where I'm like, 
Dang, that's one way to show love, I guess. And you were saying we played hot potato with my dad's uh, ashes. Ashes, yeah. yeah. You guys are playing hot potato with your dad's ashes. <laughs> His mom. Okay, this is what happened. <laughs> All right, the, okay, let, let, let's, okay, let's this is the phone no, call I get. Let's no, rewind let's, real quick. Let's rewind. No, let's rewind real quick. The whole reason why she was here in the fucking yes. First place. So she gives me. She doesn't. The whole call. reason why is because she doesn't want the ashes. Okay, and then you didn't pick up her phone call, so she calls me from right, Arizona. Right, so she kept she kept calling me. I knew it was about the fucking ashes. Mm-hmm. Give me like let me mail it to you, or whatever. Right, and I go no. <laughs> Keep. I spent extra sixty dollars or eighty dollars. To keep the ashes in the mortuary, mm-hmm. right? And they go, why? Because I know my mom thinks that like half, because the ashes are split into two boxes, oh. right? So my mom thinks that half of my dad's ghost is going to haunt her if she has half of the box, right? So she kept both boxes at the mortuary. And I said, let me, because she's not going to want them. So we might, I might pick them up a year from now. Let me pay you extra, right? Yeah. But no. She brings these fucking two boxes, right, back to L.A. Well, I get a phone call on a Thursday night, and um, she says, Kalila, um, Bobby is not picking up my phone call. I need, can you buy me a ticket to go to L.A. tomorrow? Mm. And I was like, tomorrow. well, why? What's what's happening? What's the occasion? Because, you know, she was supposed to be here in a couple of weeks, right? And she's like, Oh, I'm picking up the ashes tomorrow morning and I don't want to spend the night with the ashes. So I have to fly to LA the same day to drop off the ashes. Wow. There was and, a whole reason why she was here. Yeah. Right. So, and then like, I didn't want the ashes. So I told Steve to take both and he doesn't want both. He's scared of it. So I go, I'll fucking take, I guess, the other half. Oh, yeah. So now yeah. it's in our new studio. Also, I'm not, I also, yeah, it is, but I also don't know. Behind Gilbert. Yep. <laughs> I, I also don't know the percentage. Of if I open up the box, oh gosh, how much of those ashes is fully my dad? That's what creeps me out. If it was fully your dad, I'm okay with that. But what if there are others? That's what I'm saying. Other energies. There's definitely others. That's right. Because and they I don't, don't clean others. out that, 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 what is it, this furnace yeah. every single time, right? So, no. you know what I mean? There's some. Or some east. kind of person we've he's offended in the past. Yeah, yes. Oh. And they oh, might retaliate. I see. I'm just saying it's not purely. I don't feed, guarantee it's 100% my dad's ashes. That's impossible in my mind. Mm. So what is it? We don't know. So what should we it's do a with symbol. the box? We've never been down there. It's in our podcast. We're gonna keep it down there. Well, it's gonna be behind Gilbert the whole time. You see where where we? Yeah, but you know what's cute is the photo my brother had for the box. It's really cute. Yeah, it's hard to look at. Mm. That's a good pick of your. dad. It's a good pick of my dad. It's hard to look at. I don't honestly. I don't. I don't. I, I can't even. It's so funny. I'll lay down, or I'll just be in the backyard, vaping, and I'll just get this random thought of my dad, and it'll completely alter my day and my mood from then on. It's such a weird sensation of like I'm. I th- I think I'm running from the fact that he died. I I know I keep saying it because you know it's what three or four episodes in now. I'm still dealing with it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I want to be real, okay? Here's another thing I want to say to all the comics. We've had a couple of fallouts. I've tried to fill in those gaps with comics that have asked me 10,000 times to be on my fucking podcast. Mm-hmm. If you get these windows of opportunity to do Tiger Belly, just fucking do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I agree. I, I, I'm 100%. It's, oh yeah, my mom again. Look, it's every. Uh, I'm going to just read it. I don't know what this text is. It's probably a nice, loving text, and you should re- respond lovingly. I've been in bed for two days. Oh, why are you laughing? <laughs> Your Asian accent. <laughs> wow, he loves everything. He loves everything. You do that. Don't like everything. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. That shouldn't make you laugh. Okay, yeah. John, look at him though. I be. <laughs> you double what down. Saying? Yeah, I've been bad, but <laughs> okay, man. All right. So you just I've been bad, but today. Or days, okay. Whenever I try to get up, I couldn't. Oh my god, because I've been having dizzy spells. Oh no! This isn't the first time. I'll recover from it. Don't worry. I'll n- I'll never leave my boys alone. Love you so much. Good night. Oh my, oh my god. god, she's dying. Why would she say what that? the fuck is going on? All right. Well, let's go back to this then. My finger. Okay, I fucked up my finger from. So by ten years ago, my finger split. Okay. Oh. 
And then it split down the middle, and then it grew back okay. But then all of a sudden, this half fell off. You're not interested in what I'm saying? No, just making sure the time. What the fuck? Matching. Your finger split in half. No, Let me see. No, forget it. Hold on. Oh, I know what finger you're talking Thank about. Thank you. Sorry, but I was texting your mom. You, I know you're fine. You all right? Yeah, I was getting the unhelpful ready. <laughs> <laughs> Was that mean that we have time? Oh my god, your finger, it fell off. I know. So oh, I'm trying to I explain right to you what, the fuck? what this the deal is. That's, that's a blessing from God. Thank God. I've been waiting. I know, she's that, been praying wait, for why it. Why is it? Because I think it's fungus infested. So, don't stop fucking saying it that way. Say, you say, tell everyone it's fungus affected, and then when I shake people's hands, they go, Is it f- <laughs> infected? I go, Not my fucking hands. Oh. Don't, I know, but don't say it. <laughs> It, it, anyway, I'm going to tell you what happened. Half of it fell, so I'm like, I got to even it out. So I broke the other half, but it was still like not ready, so it hurt real bad. Like the most pain I've ever felt. Did it, how much did it bleed? A lot. Anyway, let's move on. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. Bobby and all, my father-in-law is Korean and a business owner in L.A. For years, he has asked my wife and I to consider moving back to L.A. to work for him. I have a comfortable six-figure job where we currently live, but now he's offering a job with a new company at more than double my salary. My wife and I are very hesitant because it would mean I would be working with him every day. He hired his brother a few years back, and they ended up not speaking for more than a year. I get along with my father-in-law very well, and this is an amazing opportunity, but we still feel very hesitant and don't want to make a choice out of greed. What would you do? Extra details. We have two kids, six and one, makes moving harder we would have to live with my in-laws in the short term and we currently live about 12 hours from la should he work with his uh you know i'm just you know the only way to make it in life in my opinion is to take big risks Hmm. and a lot of times you know the answer isn't easy a lot of times isn't it isn't always about am i completely and utterly happy in this mm. situation. Sometimes it's about will this give my kids you know an opportunity mm. down the road because I'll make more money they'll get better opportunities because of that. Right or no? I have a different point of view about that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sounded like a perfume commercial. Yeah. I just oh. I think the bigger risk No, I, know, I, I just want Okay. Alright. You you differ from it? I do. I think entirely. The, I think the biggest <laughs> okay. risk you can ever make is um, choosing money over mm. happiness. That's to me too big of a risk to take. Mm. Um, if you like where you are now, six figures is a great income for a family of four. Mm. If you're, you know, I don't know where you live, but LA is super expensive, and you would be making double here, but you would be spending double here. Mm. Um, and. Mm-hmm. I just think that that's too much of a, it already sounds like you have all these trepidations and they're probably valid and you should listen to, unless you had a 17 year old kid who said, dad, let's move to LA and help me because there's this career. You know what I mean? Like if you were, if you knew for a fact that you were helping and boosting your family in a way other than just financially, then I would say make the move. But if it's just for financial gain, I wouldn't give up Mm. the happiness that I have now. I would suffer through it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit to my point of view, I think. That's fine. And that's why you are where you are and I am where I am. You're in a better place. No, that's not what I said. Financially, <laughs> you're in a better place. You took you know, bigger risks. <laughs> Oftentimes in my life... I'm trying, like, I don't want to start a fight with you, baby. I, I want to have a good life with you. I, I know, but... I woke you, up today and I was a little groggy and stuff, but I just said to myself, I want to have a good life with you. All right, so um, I'll be better. <laughs> why do you keep deciphering everything? Okay. I'm always gonna choose love and family over money. Me always. Too. Me too, but it's me too, but me too. but but <laughs> baby, I'm just saying me, me too, but me too, but you know, it's like a lot of times, you know, I'm not saying to do this for the rest of his life, but sometimes you have to take a risk because by him moving here and coming and taking a risk, he's scared, but he's gonna meet new people, right? He's gonna meet people with other ideas about whatever he you know. And it just opens up his world, is what I'm saying. How do you know that his world isn't open and that he's not meeting new people every day in right. his life now? Right, and I'm sure he LA may is or- not the only place you can do that. You can live a very big, meaningful life anywhere in the world, anywhere on the planet. LA is not the hub for that. In fact, 
I will say this. I have not met a lot of people since moving back to Hollywood. I met a lot of people when I lived in Long Beach. I met a lot of people when I lived everywhere else. For me, it's a little bit harder really having deep friendships living where I live now. Yeah, I just I have a Korean way of looking at it, I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah, you're all about pragmatism and financial gain. There is a part it. no, it's not even that. It and it and in and by me saying it, I realize that it's been conditioned. Right? Mm-hmm. You have somewhere to go? What's wrong? No. Okay. <laughs> I just feel like you're all right? Yeah. All right. Finish your thought. I don't. That's why I said it because I forgot what I know. I, I was like, I, what? I was like looking I at. I, I was looking at him. I was like, why did he stop? He said, "Being yeah. Korean, you're conditioned." Oh, there we go. <laughs> <That's what it is. laughs> but these are all. You have to understand. Let's backtrack a little yeah. bit. And these are um, different things that I've learned by doing this. Mm-hmm. Is that when something when I have a fart, what I've been doing, trying to do, is just try to be non sequitur about it and just ask a random question. So that maybe that's going to trigger, uh, give me that last couple of seconds that I need. So that's what it was. I thought Kalila knew that. All right. So by being, when I, uh, now I know what my point was. And um, what I mean by being Korean is, is that um, I just have a thing that my dad did, which was, you know, I'm opening up a store in a different city. You're not going to see me as often. Maybe at months at a time, you won't see me. But know that I'm doing it so that we can put food on the table. Mm. Now, it's for you I'm doing it, right? And we understood that as a family. So go to Sacramento. I'm I'm not saying that that's the best way Where to... Is, who is... They're in Sacramento? Uh, no, they're know. not because it's... No, I'm talking Sacramento. about what well, my dad did that. Oh, my dad oh, okay, went to yeah, Sacramento. Yeah. My dad went to Sacramento to do that for us, mm. right? So um, there's two different points of views, but... um. You know, I this is it seems it would appear that the offer has all the bells and whistles, but that's to me is just an illusion. It's the illusion of being in a big city, it's the illusion of having a higher power job. It's all an illusion. I guarantee you, you will feel n- no different, not any more powerful by living here. Um, I you know, I, I tell this to my sister, Honey, a lot because she's in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. She has four kids back home. She's married to a lawyer and she has her own, she runs her own business back there, right? And she always has dreams of coming to America. And she's like, oh, you know, because she has her nursing degree. She's like, oh, I'm just going to come over and maybe we can just start a life there. And I was like, well, do you like your life now? She's like, yeah, I love my life now. Like everything, she has everything that she's ever wanted. Mm. You know, the dogs, the home, the cars, the job, the husband, the life. And I was like, don't come here. You'll be miserable. It's all an illusion. Like I am not happier where I am now than she is over there. And I, I can guarantee you that. And um, I, I I would be very careful about, you know, being swayed and then looking at things that appear shiny from afar because it's not, it doesn't feel shiny when you get there. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> We've got to get the last word. You're right. You guys are right, but I need to win this argument. Let me try one last thing. Okay. To win it. Okay. No, it wasn't an argument. It's just. A I just need to win my view. thing. If you move here, dude, I'll take you to dinner. <laughs> now, listen, game, game. Honestly, you move here. I swear to God, you move here. I'll take you to fucking. I'll take you to fucking um, Morton's. Wherever you want to go. Ooh. Whatever the best. Boa. Wherever you want to mm-hmm. go. Right. With you and your wife. Right, I need to know what the address you're moving into, so we have the facts that you are moving here. Mm-hmm. Right, I need to win. All right, so please move to LA. <laughs> okay, you win. That's kind of that's, that's pretty kind of good. Actually, better. Do you have a restaurant <laughs> offer for him? I can take you to a mom and pop shop, but don't move. <laughs> but, but don't move here because you know that Kalada's right. What? Yeah. I'm not right. I think Kalala is right. I think you were, your gut instinct's right. I want you to be happy. Don't be... I, you know what, dude? You're right. I've made too many sacrifices for this fucking bullshit dream of mine. It's not worth it. Live your... Be happy. Move where the love is. Move where the love is. And I don't think you should ever operate based on fear or feeling like, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that. Just move. Yeah, just... Move or don't. Move where the love is. You already have it at home. Yeah, yeah. Make your life big there, you know, like wherever, even if you live in fucking, what's a shit town? What's, Bakersfield. 
And Bakersfield, a lot of rich people because oh, of agriculture. Yeah, yeah. Where we went there for that show? Victorville. Yeah. Victorville. Victorville's not bad. Okay. Can we just make up a town? Hesperia. Asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> I hate asparagus. Game. Game. Asparagus. I hate USA. asparagus. You really don't like it? No, it's like, it's like tubes. It's tubes of green. I don't spears, like it. Spears. They're called spears. Yeah, but it's tubes, tubes of green. So it's a good album. Into, it's like it's hollow but not. I don't like it. I found. I read this <laughs> one interesting thing about green. asparagus where all of us pee, you know, when you have that yeah, yeah, asparagus yeah. smelling thing, I, I, but not all of us have the genes yeah, true. to smell it. Mm. So it's not that your pee doesn't smell when you eat asparagus. It's just that you can't smell it. Yes. And I do eat stuff that affects my poo and pee. You're, you are right. And I only eat it so that it, so I can see what the effect of it is. Are you into digestibles like, or non-digestibles? Beets, like beets. You know, I eat a lot of beets. What happens, oh, you, what happens when you eat beets? Oh, it just makes my 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 um my my pee dark. <laughs> it's like you know what it, it you know Dark Phoenix. Yeah, right. The movie? Yeah, yeah. When she's crying, but <laughs> the Phoenix. Yeah, that's what my pee looks like. Oh yeah, and he drinks a lot of Pepto Bismol because he likes his tarry shit. <laughs> yeah, so I like my poo. <laughs> Black. Really black and tarry. What? If you drink from the business, listen to me right now. Ugh. If you want to change and you want to, you want magic. You want to learn how to do magic. I'm going to show you. Drink a whole bottle of Pepto Bismol tonight. Definitely don't do that. Tomorrow, your poo will look like dark lava rock, like obsidian. Ooh, it'll look like it's on fire. Dark black lava rocks. <laughs> Remember, like in that Chernobyl HBO thing. The yeah. shit that they found on the th- rooftops, that's what your poo looks like. Also, worth noting that Granite. if you have tarry shits, you should probably get checked because you probably have internal bleeding. That's right. Contact your local government. That, well, that does happen. Yeah. Um, that was a great episode. <laughs> I thought we learned about signs. So much. I thought we learned about past things. Mm-hmm. Didn't we not, George? Yeah. What would you think of it? I was I was thoroughly entertained by, my arm, by our own voices. I wrote down <laughs> one of the best of the year. This is getting clipped for the best of the year at the end of the year. Is that what you said? Yeah. I'm very proud of you. We, do we do? Do we not do it together? I no. feel like you carried most of the Ayaka show. Tabaya, kaya, 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 kaya. Thank we you. We did it. You look, our pack. babe. I think that Stella's getting <laughs> her groove back. Start on it. We did it. I think you're getting your groove back. Adios. Adios. Uh, before we go, yeah. what? Enough Whitt- Whitaker or Adesanya? Oh shit. Okay. Just I, what your final pick, or if you don't have to choose I'm, anyone, but. I've, your thoughts, thoughts. Whitaker is the, my most favorite fighter in all of UFC. Has been for the past year. Really uh, favorite, I, most I, favorite. I, I, I love him. I'm so gonna, much. I'm gonna. I'm in gonna, fact, gonna... he's the only fighter I follow on Instagram. I love him. Sorry, okay. DC. So I got. Let me ask you. Need to follow DC. I got a new phone. Okay, and I have the email thing. You know how it says the email, the amount of emails. What's a lot? Two thousand. Mine, which is five thousand. Okay, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, That's what yours says? Yeah. Jeez. Mine says 17,000. <laughs> what does that mean? I thought I had a lot. Like 10 years worth of emails. So there's 10 years worth of emails that I haven't even opened? Yeah. Jesus. You know what you should do? What? We should go dig deep into- Respond. You should oh, yeah. look at oh, what what you used to say to ex-girlfriends. That's what sometimes- I never say. emailed anybody. That's Yes, I'm sure you did. Oh, you think I have? You yeah, hold on. I'm going to- I'm going to- Hold on, Maybe. I'm gonna look for one. Let me go to my deep. Let me look for. Oh, wait, so Kalila, you want Whitaker or Adesanya? I think the people I want, want Whitaker always. Whitaker. I'm with Whitaker. I'm with Whitaker with the Kalila on that one. I love him, Adesanya. But Adesanya is great. Go ahead. I love you, Adesanya. And then what do you want? Stylebender. Oh, he even did the nickname. He did the nickname. Oh, Who else is fighting that night tomorrow? On oh, Saturday, I mean. Let's look up. Should be a good card, huh? We have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so I like Kinta. Oh, it's really not Kunta a, Kinte. I like, I like Kunta that. Kinte. I like Kunta Kinte and Dan Hooker. Is that racist? Saying Kunta Kinte? I don't think so. That's no. a, it's character a character name. It's a character. All right. <laughs> that's not racist, right? You can oh, say that. If you keep saying right. it, it might turn into a racist thing. <laughs> that's hey, what, that's what, Kinte. That's what some racist Australians used to call my sister because my last name's Q, and they used to call her Kunta Kinte. Oh, it's funny. That's kind of good. <laughs> That's another shirt, guys. Kunta Kinte. Because, you know, Let's my sister it. is very Do dark it. in the summer. And no. Um, like... Kunta Kinte and then make Kalila look like. You know, hey, Kunta you can Kinte. blackface me? Yeah, blackface Kalila. No, Please make the shirt. Oh, my God. Yeah, Kunta Kinte. No. No. Yeah, yeah, do oh, it. Oh, my God. I know so you're you very tone deaf there about. Very tone deaf. Anyway, what else with is going the times? on? With the times. 
else is going we're okay. done that's our show let's finish yeah. it do you have any final thoughts i don't know i'd like to i'd i'd I, I, don't touch my feet what happened is it wet I, yeah, I so want to say I want to say something to Bob. What is happening, <laughs> Kalal? Can you please say, focus? <laughs> I want to say something to my partner of six years. <gasps> you gonna break up with me right now? Are you gonna propose? No. Oh. I want to say. Am I allowed to say it? Go ahead. Are you gonna be listening? What is it? What? <laughs> is, it is it personal? No. I don't want any personal thing right no, now. No, not I'm super done, personal. I'm done with the personal, <laughs> I'm done with the personal okay, stuff. Go ahead. Go ahead. What is it? I want to say that um, we've been through a lot the last couple months, as mm-hmm. you've been through a lot the last couple months. But I'm happy to see that you're slowly coming out of the thick gray cloud. And I'm glad to have you back. Oh. Ayataya. In That's bed. All. Was Thank that you. so bad? No, that was not bad. Okay, can you can you help me? <laughs> you, got it, you got it, babe. Huh? Just babe, you got it. No, babe, you got it. Sorry. Help her, help her. Help her, help, no? Okay, you got it. You got the legs. Damn it. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I don't know much about anything. Thank you. Uh, what else? We good? <laughs> Wait for you. We no, just it. ended anyway, it good night. already. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> good night, everyone. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Uh, uh, thanks again to our lovely sponsors, Hims, Voodoo, Manscaped, and Candid. Order now uh, to get started with Hims Complete Hair Kit for just $5 today while supplies last. For more information, go to 4 slash belly. Watch free movies like Con Air and The Fifth Element. Head over to Voodoo.com slash Tiger Belly to sign up and start watching instantly. That's V-U-D-U dot com slash Tiger Belly. Get 20% off free shipping and a free travel bag with the code belly at manscaped.com. We are loving that travel bag. I'm going to have a photo ready smile by the holidays. Boom, right here. So you can too. Go to candidco.com, Tiger Belly, and use the code Tiger Belly to get $75 off. Like me, you can't have straight teeth. <laughs> right, Kalala? Or like Kalala, see, look how straight her teeth are. Uh, no, I like my gaps. Yeah, no, you don't. I'm keeping mine. Fine, I'll get my teeth straight. We rely on you to make Tiger Belly great. Get your questions on Tiger Belly by emailing us at adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. And that's one more time, adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow everything at Kalila at Calamity K. Everything John Na at John Na Na. Everything George at George underscore Kimmel. Get him to 20K, I guess. That's the new goal. <sighs> uh, everything uh, Bobby Lee tour dates. Make sure you go to BobbyLeeLive.com and also check him out Stand at it, man. Bobby Lee doing. Live. Good night. All right. Do you want to talk about anything else? Okay. <laughs> Makabalo